All right, what's for one number change is finder here, and today we're gonna be playing, or should I say talking about some more Akelang, uh, Flora to Anu's. Okay, just before I go into the news, I do want to thank a new channel member by the name of Wally Cristo. So yeah, Wally Cristo, welcome aboard, and do remember to spam those freaking emotes. And by the way, if you guys want to become a channel member, yep, there's a big join button right next to my freaking name. Anyways, like I said, gonna be talking today about the new Merc report called Spring into Field Improvements. Now, this Merc report is going to be a little bit longer because there's like a lot of, you know, weapon changes, perk changes, dosh changes. So yeah, let's go straight into this. Uh, hey Mercs, with your next assignment heading this way, we felt you were due for a briefing on updated and changing conditions in the field. So let's take a look at the upcoming quality of life improvements for all our favorite Zed Slayers. Medics, you know the drill, you do your best to keep the team alive and are often left holding all the complaints. Well, this one's for you and your teammates to enjoy together the HUD indicators for medic buffs. Finally, you're gonna know if the medic is playing a combat medic or is he just, you know, a pure healing medic. So yeah, each time a medic is gonna heal you, yep, you're just gonna see which buffs you got. You know, such as like adrenaline shot, focus injection and stuff like that. But yeah, again, I don't know why it took them so long to make such a simple adjustment, but sure thing, I mean, it's cool. It's gonna help quite a lot if you don't know if the medic is healing you or not. Okay, let's move on. The initial dosha player is granted on joining. A mission has also been updated. Horzin has decided to be a little more generous so that those joining late in a mission have more opportunity to provide a meaningful impact and not just another meal for a hungry Zed. Okay, I'm not gonna like talk about each and every one of these waves. I'm just gonna like put this on the screen so you guys can see. But basically, so whenever you're just gonna be joining late into a game, I mean, let's say you got kicked or or you just, I don't know, join someone's game. When you spawn in, yep, you'd pretty much have no dosh. I mean, if you were playing short, I mean, pretty much everyone has spare money to throw at you, or maybe even medium, same thing, but if you're playing long, on long, yeah, there wasn't that much, you know, money. And let's say someone died on, like, I don't know, wave 9, wave 7. Yeah, they're probably just gonna pick up their weapon, you know, all to fill, and they're not gonna have any dosh to give to the new dude. So yeah, this is going to be quite, quite helpful. Several weapons and perks have also been adjusted to improve the Merc experience. Please keep in mind that these values are subject to change as we progress through our internal testing. Okay, so the bullpup is finally getting a buff. Weight reduced from 6 to 5, and what does that mean? Yep, you can actually have it with the minigun. Bullet damage increased from 30 to 32. I mean, that's like a subtle change, but I mean more damage. Initial spare magazines on trader purchase reduced from 4 to 3. Who cares? Ammo price per magazine increased from 30 to 32. Who cares again? I mean damage and weight. That's all you should know about. And then we have the freeze thrower. Why? Rate of fire of default fire reduced by 30%. Minimum ammo consume of default fire reduced from 4 to 3. Alt fire damage type changed from freeze to ballistic shotgun. Alt fire base damage increased from 20 to 35 per ice shard. Number of shards of alt fire reduced from 12 to 9. Spread of alt fire shards reduced by 20%. Default fire horizontal recoil reduced by 30%. Alt fire vertical recoil increased by 50%. Okay, I don't know why they've touched the freeze thrower. I mean, to me, it's just a shotgun now, pretty much. A shotgun that freezes things. I mean, I'm just gonna have to test it out because I don't freaking know. So yeah, these are the two weapons they're gonna be changing and now let's move on to... Okay, so this next bit is just talking about the 9mm. I mean, if you guys want to pause and read, I mean, you can. I mean, who cares? Other perk skills that have been updated to help provide more meaningful perk choices are The Berserker's Dreadnought So Dreadnought is now gonna be total health bonus increased from 75 to 100 And then Resistance Resistance to all damage increased from 20 to 25 Additional Resistance to poison and sonic damage increased from 20 to 25 Okay, they're just buffing the Berserker already, man I mean, fair enough, no one pretty much uses these two skills I mean, Dreadnought maybe And if you don't know 
how to parry, yeah, you're probably gonna be using resistance. I mean, I guess we're gonna be trying this out in the beta and maybe they're gonna change it back or they're just gonna keep it OP. Yes, we'll see. And then we have Field Medic already, man. So Resilience. Max amount of resistance increased from 50% to 70%. Okay. Does the Medic even need that? I don't think he does. And then we have the Sharpshooter, which is Z-Time Ranger. They updated the way this perk skill applies the stun. Now, every shot of any perk weapon will stun any Z. And finally, they did add something to the server browser, which is no local admin. So if you don't like a server that has, you know, its own set of rules, yeah, you can just... You know, uncheck it here and you're not gonna have any problems. The last thing we would like to bring to your attention is an upcoming new option for how you can obtain weapon DLC. As we experimented with other optional solutions to better meet some player expectations, we are doing this in the form of an Armory Season Pass. <laughs> Starting at $30 with regional pricing available, blah blah blah, it would grant players all of 2021's new paid DLC weapons as they become a Available. And this first season pass will also include all previously released DLC weapons as well. Upcoming weapons will continue to be available to purchase via individual packs and double bundles when applicable to the update, but they should provide players a one-stop shop solution at a bulk discount. So if you guys want all of the DLC weapons, yep, you can pay 30 bucks and hooray. Freaking DLCs, man. I thought they were just gonna like announce. Oh, by the way, if you complete a weekly or a set of challenges, you can get DLC weapons for free but nope pay us money boy keep an eye out next week for the latest news in the world of zed slaying tools yep next week we're gonna be getting some hrgs and dlcs can't wait so yeah what was this merc report all about well pretty much yep we do have that medic you know hot buff we got dosh for you know the waves the bull pops getting a buff the freeze thrower is I guess getting a buff. Berserker got a buff. Medic got a buff. Sharpshooter got a buff. And this is pretty much it. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think about all these changes. And, well, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to read everything yourselves, there's going to be a link in the description. So, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios. Blessed relief. Keep running! If